Okay, so here's the board that I uh, ended up creating for my first version of the amplifier based on the TDA 7269 chip that I had salvaged off of, I think, an old television, if I'm not mistaken. Um, a complete and utter failure for, um, unfortunately, opaque reasons at this point. Um, a, here's what I have built and let's just walk through this briefly okay so we have got this in a package I have made the mistake of let's see it's pin 9 grounded Uh, yep, oh, it's 11 pins, so that's that's pin 1, that's pin 9. Okay, so at least that's correct. However, this little mess down here it should have a minus 15 if you're going to be filtering off this. Otherwise, this thing is floating. Um, this ground um, is isolated. This pin, which should be grounded, 1 and 6 actually, um, six is not doesn't appear on the uh, the pinouts on the schematic because that's um, internally connected to ground. It should not be floating unless you've got. Uh, well, it should should be held at minus fifteen. Um, I have got this hovering above ground through these capacitors, so that's one mistake that I've made. Um, I tried um, shorting out these capacitors to ground, still didn't make the amplifier operate. I put in some filter, or sorry, DC blocking capacitors on the, but let's, let's take a step back. What, what do we have here from a circuit? Okay, so we've got some filter capacitors on our power rail. That makes sense. We went through this circuit previously, and that is a circuit that allows you to switch between, um, uh, well, if you're running at about 18 volts, you get down to 12, I think, and in the middle you're at about 14, so 4 is down about 4 volts from ground, so that's about where we want to be, or 4 volts from VCC, and then 12 is down below 6 volts from VCC, just about. So, I have to work on the uh, the values of these resistors here. I had to sub this for a 20, so I'm going to have to probably go down. Anyways, so the switching part more or less works. Um, I, I have to twiddle some values so it's you know hovering in between standby. That might be the problem. I don't I don't think it is. I think it's mostly related to this. So, anyways, how does this thing work? We've got a voltage divider here that sends some of the signal back into our negative, um, uh, our inverting input in our op amp here to um, provide some gain control. Well, gain control. So this is what adjusts the gain of this op amp. This ratio between these two uh, and this, these two resistors. This is just for DC blocking, just in case this thing fails short and you start and you have a, a positive um, or you have some DC bias on this, then this will amplifier will amplify the DC bias. And so rather than feeding that DC bias back into here, I put a blocking capacitor in to, to prevent that. Um, then you've got a, uh, let's see, a low pass filter and a high pass filter because this is uh, uh, a resistor here because the speaker has some resistance uh, so low pass high pass so you this filter will adjust what the cutoff frequency is from below and this will cut off the frequency from above. 
pretty simple circuit. So there are two places that I can look for errors. I think the first thing I have to do is make a version of the circuit board without this stuff and just have pin one connected directly to ground and then twiddle the values of these two resistors to make sure that I get the voltages um, where I want them. I want to be six below. 12 is not six below. It's just barely at six below and that goes between mute and play so I'm just kind of hovering between mute and play so those are the places I'm going to look and oh man that that's just the problems with the circuit then there is all of the problems <laughs> with making the circuit board I don't know if you can see all this stuff but oh my goodness gracious as I was I lifted traces and I had to put in bodge wires for those traces and then there's another bodge wire in there and there it's just like this circuit board was horrible, but I wanted to get something done. Oh yeah, and this this trace didn't um, actually come out on the uh, PCB, so I had to jumper that. It's just like it was a disaster of a of a board. And I can show you some of the failed attempts that I made on trying to create this circuit board. Okay, so the first thing that happened was um, KiCad was being kind of weird, and it was putting the wrong colors on the PC, on, on the print, but I just restarted KiCad and that problem went away. I tried using a cheap eBay um, 200 transfer paper that didn't work, and so I went back to the blue film that I'm familiar with, but even that gave me problems. Um, even though I was very careful in positioning the, uh, the board on top of um, the, uh, the printout on the toner paper, um, notice that I printed out two versions just to be safe, and I was glad I did. I could, I still made mistakes by misorienting the board. Now, having, um, having, oh yeah, that was a little quick uh, glimpse of the, uh, the board that came from the other toner transfer paper. It wasn't very good. Anyways, so um, despite putting on, using the same amount of time, the same heat, the same settings, etc., etc., I was still able to um, uh, not get a good result because um, what, I think was because of the uh, was because of the uh, n the new laser printer. Um, some of the corners didn't well. Obviously, the corners didn't come out good. And then after I man managed to make a messy board, I was able to and finally get a decent board. I managed to break bits in my uh, in my drilling of the holes. And then there's all the populating of the uh, of the PCB. But. Let it be said that there is some work to be done so that I can get some repeatability in my ability to create PCBs. And, you know, I'm really thinking that sending this stuff out is a really valuable way of going. But anyways, um, that's an update on where this stands. I just wanted to get that out there um, because I have been banging my head against the wall. And yeah, yeah. Uh, any suggestions are welcome. So anyways, two places I'm going to start looking is there and there, make another version of the circuit board, and then see if I can't get this thing to chooch. Anyways, thank you for watching. And um, if I don't uh, get something out before Christmas, have a great, great holiday season. Bye for now.